Does age difference matter when it comes to dating with compatibility, success, and connection? Does it really matter? I'm going to give you my thoughts as a dating coach coming up next. What's good everyone, Mario here, joined by my friend Sadie. And uh, what I'm going to be doing in this video is answering a question that was posed to me, which was, does dating age difference matter? And my answer to that question is kind of complicated, but not so complicated. It's yes, no, and everywhere in between, there's some things that I want to kind of explain to you all. So let's get into that. So dating age difference, does it matter? Let's start off with yes, it does matter. Well, let's be real. Age difference is a factor when it comes to dating compatibility, uh, connection, and success, right? So in, in the grand picture, yes, absolutely. Age difference is a factor. It does matter, okay? But I want you to understand that it can matter in a positive or a negative way, a little bit or a lot. So keep that in perspective. Now, let's kind of think about this from the other side. No, age difference doesn't matter, which I think is a little bit extreme because it's, I mean, it's not true. It, it, it is a factor that matters, but we can lean that way because that argument presents some really good, uh, good things for us to think about, okay? So first of all, let's think about age difference. If it does matter, how much does it matter to you, okay? Because that's the only really thing that matters is how much these things matter to you. Age difference, all right? So all of us have, uh, you know, whether we want to admit it or not, we have an age that we think is too young or too old or just right that we believe, all right? Doesn't mean that we're right about it or doesn't mean that it can't change. It can, but we have sort of an idea of age, all right? Now let me ask you this. Is your idea of the age that is just right for you more important than, say, sexual chemistry? So, you know, like, would you say, like, geez, um... The sexual chemistry is great, but out of my out of my age group or out of my age range, that'd be kind of silly, uh, you know, to kind of discard somebody because they're a week too old or, or a week too young or even a year or 10 years. Who knows what it is? But all of us just we create this invisible line. Right. Uh, so I just want to think like, hey, age difference. Does that matter to you more than sexual chemistry? How about does it matter to you more than, say, lifestyle compatibility? You know, if you're into a certain lifestyle as someone else, you know, those things matter, all right? And I think that lifestyle compatibility is, well, more important than age difference, but it's for you to consider, okay? Now, let's also consider age difference. Is it important to you? Well, how much of importance are you going to assess or, or are you going to give it compared to, say, the alignment of your goals. Uh, you know, like if you find a partner or, or someone who you could date who could be aligned with your goals, say personal, like where you want to live and where you want to travel or the family that you want to have or the career that you want to pursue and develop. Well, if someone is totally on board with that and really well aligned, would you get rid of them just because the age difference uh, isn't exactly what you're looking for? I think that would be something that a lot of us we don't consider just how heavily these things are weighted and which one is more important to us. So I want to bring them up to you now. And last, let's think about communication dynamics. Communication dynamics is something that I really try and bring more awareness to as a dating coach because it's something that I find super attractive or super unattractive and uh, something that people who are dating or struggling dating need to understand that how you communicate with your partner matters, all right? Do you enjoy the conversation? Is the conversations that you have, are they fulfilling? How do you argue? Do you argue in a mature manner? Or is it just the world's worst thing when you're having an argument? So that is pretty powerful to me. And I would say that's more powerful and more important to me and many others out there than, say, the age difference. Now, of course, you know, like, we can say that, you know, like, well, a week is different than a year as far as if we're going to fudge with our age uh, preferences, right? I understand that. But always be open-minded uh, to thinking about what this age difference means to you and how you're going to behave according to whatever your beliefs are. Okay, so we've talked about yes, it matters, and I kind of presented some things that make you realize like, like, geez, maybe it doesn't matter, or maybe it doesn't matter as much when we're talking about the no side. Now, what I want to do is just present you some questions that I think are important to kind of have me ask you so that you can ask yourself so that you can come up with these answers, because ultimately, this age difference question, it only matters what you believe. 
the story that you tell yourself about how age matters, which brings me to my first question. Do you want age to matter to you? All right. That's a question you need to ask because, you know, like the only thing that really matters is what you think is right, how you want to live. Uh, but oftentimes, you know, like we have to kind of just realize like, geez, I have a choice whether I want to uh, make this a big deal or make this less of a big deal. So do you want it to matter? If so, uh, you know, like how much of a big deal do you want to make it? All right. Number two, uh, do you know enough? To make this decision about age? Are you so confident that you have all and enough knowledge and information in this world that you can make the best decision for yourself right now? Uh, if you're watching this video, you're watching it because you want some more information. So I'm hoping, hoping I'm giving you some information to ponder and consider and hopefully help you evolve and create your set beliefs on does age matter when it comes to dating for you? All right. But it's really important that you understand, do you have enough information, all right? Because a lot of people out here, they're so confident thinking that they know everything and what's right, what's wrong, but they don't have enough information. If they could just even just say, well, I'm really certain in my in my beliefs, but the truth is I really don't know much about this. So maybe I shouldn't be as confident. Sometimes I just want to bring that up to you to ask yourself, okay? Next, just kind of uh, covering all our bases. Uh, my question to you is, we're not talking about anything illegal with age difference, are we? I hope not. Let's respect uh, all our cultures, all the different countries uh, we are from, and the legal uh, the legal rules that we need to be abiding by. So I just want to throw that into this video. All right. And the fourth question I want you to ask yourself is, do you want to live your life for you? Or do you want to live your life to please others? Because you have a choice. And the thing is, you don't get a do-over in life. Like you can't go back and do five years ago over again. You only have the present. So it's important for you to understand and ask yourself these questions now so that you can abide by them. Um, because it's a, it's a question you have to ask yourself. With age difference, it's something that a lot of us are, we're living our life in accordance to honestly what has been thrust upon us, the, the, the environmental uh, beliefs about what's normal, you know, your family and friends, what they think about uh, age differences. For example, you know, I'll, I'll be honest, I grew up with um, a lot of messages about like age difference is a big deal and uh, you don't want to date someone way too young or way too old or you're a pervert or there's something weird about your relationship uh, if someone's too old. And the thing is, it's like, why does some, why does, why do we care what other people are going for? And, you know, where did this actual, actually come from where people were so certain that it's weird if you date someone younger or older? You know, if you kind of think about it, if you were to question the people who are giving you these mes messages, you'd be like, well, shit, they really don't know anything more than I do about dating, relationships, happiness, or whatever. So why are you thinking so much about what they care about, what they believe? So I just want you to kind of think about that question of who you're living for. Are you living for yourself? Because if you're living for yourself, you might not give a fuck about what people think about if you're dating someone younger or older or the right or the same age. Uh, you don't give a fuck about what they think because you're doing your life for you. And the thing is, I just know that's something that's very difficult for a lot of you out there. Um, just straight out, like... Um, a lot of us out there, we do care. We want to people please. Uh, we do care what people think. We don't want to be embarrassed. We don't want to be ashamed. So we behave a certain way, even though we think like, geez, I'm kind of curious about this, but I'm afraid to kind of take that action or take that step. So it's something to consider. All right. And that's what this whole topic of does dating age difference matter? Look, I'll tell you this. All right. As a dating coach and someone with experience personally and someone who can share my experiences with working with so many different people, what I want to tell you is that connection is not common. All right. So if you find somebody that you connect with, that you're compatible with, explore it, see where it goes. All right. And there's sometimes people who are going to be older, younger, or whatever age that you think is, um, you know, iffy. Uh, and maybe it is iffy, okay? But maybe it's just something where you're like, well, why not? What What's the harm in exploring this? What's the harm with a date and seeing how we connect? What's the harm in, in that, you know, like, live your life for you. I'll tell you, there's so many people out here who are struggling to find connections. And what I have found is that age isn't the biggest determining factor in the success of a relationship. There are plenty of other factors. I've pointed out quite a few, you know, uh, big ones that I hope grabbed your attention, like sexual chemistry, lifestyle compatibility, 
uh, alignment of their goals and even the way that you two communicate those are so much more important to me and to many others out there than uh, just this age difference as a factor determining the success or, or compatibility of dating relationships so that's my take i hope you understand that for you out there uh, ultimately, it's about how you want to live, what story you want to tell yourself, what's right, what's wrong, or what story you want to say about how you're going to live your life. Uh, I live my life for me, not for others. What story do you want to live by? And if you're thinking about, does this age difference matter? I'm just here to tell you, what harm does it does is there to giving somebody a chance? Because whatever it is, all of us have an age bracket. of Too young, too old, just right. And none of us know exactly for sure what's best for us. We might have a better idea. I'm not not going to say you don't maybe have a better idea, um, but you're not always going to be right. So I encourage you to be open-minded and I encourage you to take chances that are in your favor, things that you don't want to have regrets. And I hope that you understand that age isn't as big a deal as many people out there would like you to think it is. So that's my personal thoughts. I wanted to share that with you all. If you have comments, please share them. If you have thoughts different than mine or something that I haven't thought of, by all means, include it in the comments. I would love to hear what you all have to say. And as always, until the next video, you all take care. Thanks for watching. If you appreciated the content, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And if you're sick of feeling stuck and you're ready to level up your game and your meh love life, take action now. Click the link below to visit our website and experience our virtual game advisor feature. Choose the path of your game journey from the recommendations and resources ready and waiting for you.